How about now? Yes, no? Open it up on my phone. Yeah. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, now I can hear myself. Okay. Who knows what that was? We got it though, right? Okay. It's always something. Let's do this. Okay. Ready? Okay. Uh, now what? Now it's not going to do that? There we go. Okay. Bag one and two are the platforms. We're not even getting into the train till like, bag three or four. Alright, so we got some heads... Heads are gonna roll. We've got oop hair, bodies, and there's pants, more hair. Oh, gotta grab some wands too. It's a rat. Scabbers. Uh that should be no. We got briefcases and wands that we need. Okay, briefcases and wands. There we are. I'm gonna put the wand to the side because I think I have an open wand somewhere. Who do we have here? God. Lupin. Oh, Remus. Oh, scraggly. Oh, scraggly werewolf boy here. There's this. There's his werewolfy face. Oh, he needs a briefcase. Oh, they both require a wand. Okay, well. Then I guess they'll get them, because even if I have an open wand, I don't have two. So, okay. Remus gets a wand. Harry's favorite teacher. Favorite dead teacher. Ah, okay. There we go. Up next is Mr. Weasley. Yeah, so like I said, we're doing this today because Sunday I have a family gathering and I'm not sure when it's going to end and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. So there we go. All right. We can zoom me in here because... No reason not to, right? There you go. All right, little little trolley cart there, or luggage cart, yeah. Two of these. Uh, and then a modified one by two in the front. Okay, two briefcases. I 
and you just stack them in. Like that. Oh, and then Scabbers goes on front here. Mm, Scabbers. Okay. Five. Alright. So, there, there's some stuff. Uh, yeah, not too much since we spoke on Sunday has happened. It was warm yesterday. Warm today. It was supposed to be warm tomorrow, so we have that going for us, and that's about it. Go back to work tomorrow, and yeah. Just building the platform. Lots of platform building here. <sighs> Goes, uh, well, basically, these all make a closed rectangle when you're done, so. Alright, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. here's something else. Add another thing to the platform. Oh, how many pieces was this? This was. 801 pieces um and you know the other reason i did it at four o'clock because if i started at five o'clock the usual time and we ran after seven we'd be interrupting lego masters and i feel like that's a big faux pas like you can't you can't interrupt Lego Masters with another Lego stream. We know which one wins. It's Lego Batman. Every time. Ten times out of ten, right? So, we're gonna run this one. If we run this, you know, a few minutes after six, who cares? Seven o'clock Lego Masters starts. Got plenty of time to get your dinner ready. And watch week two. Now no one got kicked no one got kicked out last week. Everybody got a free pass, but they gave out the golden brick uh, to the best one. So this week somebody's going home. Who do you think it's gonna be? Um got um uh, I'm not too familiar with everybody yet, because we only done one episode. So, I think, oh, if my first impression when people were just talking was it was going to be the two DIY ladies, but then when I saw their float, um, I was like, no, they're really good. The reason I thought they would be leaving was because they were saying like, we do DIY projects together. This is just like another thing we're doing. So I really didn't think they had like experience. I think I thought it was just like something they were putting on their belt, but they did really well. So if they don't pick it up this week, I think the folks that might get kicked out are the um, the husband and wife pair, the ones that um, built their built their float like on a smaller scale. I think they might be the people. Um, but like I said, I don't know. Uh, because who knows? They could have, uh, they could have really taken it to heart and just turned everything around. But that's my thoughts for now. Oh, hey, look at that! It's a wanted poster for Sirius. Got a little wanted poster over here. All right, there we go. 
got that on, and then it's just basically the same build as the other ones. Uh, let me know who you think is not going to uh, cut the mustard this week. I have never, I don't think I've ever used that phrase before in my life. <laughs> Felt weird to say, man, who's going home? Who's going home? I don't. Uh-huh. Right. This bag is actually... We're like halfway through it already. I, uh, today was not a complete loss for me. Like, I was originally going to do some things, and I didn't do it, but it wasn't a complete loss. I did spend... Did spend a lot of the day just going through, like, Streamlabs trying to fix some stuff up. Get some processes more to make, because, like... I've been putting it off, so every time I start it up, I gotta. It only opens up uh, Streamlabs and the uh, Elgato capture utility. But now I got it automated where not only does it do that, but it also opens up our uh, like live stream tracker and the uh, the Streamlabs dashboard. And then it, I found another extension for uh, the Stream Deck today, and it's got one where it'll. It'll place your windows and size them how you want automatically. So I thought that was pretty cool. I took some time to do that. And then I got, um, Spotify has not been integrated for a while. And I finally figured out why. It's because I randomly have two Spotify accounts. I don't know how I did that. I guess I just forgot how I logged in originally. Um, but so obviously one's premium, one's not. So you can only use... You can only use like developer features if you have a paid for one. So like it just it worked at first, and then it just like it stopped integrating. And I found out because when I logged into the browser, at some point I just randomly messed up. And I put in the other one, and yeah, that's a free account. Okay, um, I clearly. Forgot something or stack something too high because that's not. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I tricked myself. That doesn't lock in, silly. Because if you're a wizard and you think about it, you go right through to platform nine and three quarters. Smart. I think you'd go the... What's going on? Why is it so... Not straight. Okay, hold on. There's a curvature to it right now. Hold on. Are my plates, like, turned or what? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Don't matter. Um, and then let's go... Okay, three of these archways. Three of these bricks. And one of this. Okay. Maybe that'll help push it down? I don't know. Everything seems kind of lit right now.
helped ever so slightly, but I still don't know what's going on there. Okay. Um, who? Player? And then one here. And they're probably going to hang like a light or a lantern there. There we go. Two of those. Three of these. And this wonderful piece right here, which is going to go on the end. Interesting stuff. Ah, it went down. Okay. There we go. Push these guys back a little bit so they got room. It's a lovely little display piece. So I did think I just I think I decided um, the next build after this one is gonna be that monster book of monsters, and then we're gonna go into uh, Fox the Phoenix, which I was having trouble getting the uh, digital instructions for. Hmm. I kept going to Lego website. They're building instructions website. And I put it in the set. Set comes up. And they're like, oh no, sorry. Wait until it's officially released for everyone. And I'm like, but it is. <laughs> I'm like, it is. I'm like, this wasn't an early access set. Like, you didn't get VIP early access. So what's going on? And then... I just wasn't having any luck with it. It kept, like, I could not get it. So I was like, okay, well, sometimes, sometimes even that doesn't happen. Maybe, like, Brick Set or something has it. And I didn't feel like going to each website and searching, actually. So I just Googled it. Set number, instructions. And then it pulls up first listing is two different lego instructions website links and i'm like interesting and i click it sure enough one of them's got the thing and i look of course it's the the great britain the, it's the uk uh lego site i was like oh all right well like i guess i got lucky there but that's silly, man. So I ended up getting it. So there's no... I don't have to do any stupid scans or anything. So I take care of it. Nice little... Nice little thing here. Alright, and then this one goes on top. Because it has to be different. There we are. Okay. Uh, and then one of these and one of those. And then, of course, we're going to get a sticker here for platform nine and three quarters from our sticker sheet. Love the sticker sheet. All right. How about, we got about 26 minutes. Now, granted, some of those was having problems. So we're going to have to run a few minutes longer to make up for that. But that's fine. We'll, we'll figure out where we're going to end up as we go, like always. There we go. Platform nine and three quarters. And where's this guy go? This guy gets the King Cross sticker. All right. King's Cross. Oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Come on. Get under there. That's where we want it. Just turn it a little bit. No, too far to the side. All right, let's dial it. Pull it back.
There we go. Perfect. Perfect for me. <laughs> King's Cross right there. Okay, so we got that curvature to it still. It's leveled out mostly, but it's still got a little rock to it. I don't know what that's from, but I don't like that. Ew, gosh, yeah, we're using a lot of the stickers right now. Okay. Alright, take these. Both. And... Sticker barely fits on this piece. Flip her over. And just pop that on there. Like so. There we go. Now we're going to do 10. That's the last one for just a little bit. I don't want to get all stickered out here. All right, and pop that on. There we go. Ooh, I don't like that. Hold on. Like no nails, so. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got it. Let's try that again. Yeah, that one looks fine. This one does not, did not go straight. That's better. Okay. There we go. Ten. Yay. All right. Shoot. I don't even know. One sec. Sorry about that, putting in my uh, dinner order here. All right, bag two. Bag number two. The bag's empty. Yeah. All right. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Harry Potter. I think I got like three Harry Potter minor figures after this, and all of them are different. Um, I need his little stupid gray legs. Where are you? Where's his little stubby gray legs? 
There they are. Right. You're a wizard, Harry. All right. I could put Harry next to Ron. Because they're besties. Alright. And then we need two of those to put onto the platform. Put on platform not nine and three quarters. Um, okay, so we got two of those, two of those, and then I need the frame, which goes across here. Did not need two of those, I needed one of them. I'm silly. Alright. All right, that's a. Uh... I don't know. I feel like that's really easy, but also really unnecessary. I could have built that. <laughs> I didn't even know they had staircases. I assumed that every time you got, you'd have to build a staircase. Okay. Well, there we go. Staircase. Staircase all done. And that's totally where it lines up, because I see it going across. Okay, so I didn't do that wrong. And there's no other pieces on that set. All right. I did. I put the iPad in the vertical orientation for this one, because... It shows up bigger for me. But it shows up the same size for you guys regardless. <laughs> if I have it horizontal, then it just got the gray bars instead of black on the side. The only difference is when I zoom in. It doesn't take up that full space for you guys. But I figured it might just be easier. Like. You're still getting a bigger picture. And it's definitely better for me to see, which is I mean, I'm gonna be a little selfish here, which is kind of important because I'm the guy building it right now. So as long as you guys can see it, I'd rather have I'd rather have a larger view on my end. This goes, orients this way, and fits on to here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Cool. Then we need a longer one and a, pretty sure it's just a flat little, yeah, it is, okay. Bum, bum. Oh, it's probably to go down the other side. It's gotta be, right? One platform coming up. And you. Like I said, I'm 
I'm like, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan. Um, like, I am a fan. I have read all the books. I have seen all the movies. The Harry Potter movies. I haven't watched... I haven't watched either Fantastic Beasts movies all the way through. But, like, I, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of it, but I'm just not, like, a huge fan. And when it comes to the Lego Harry Potter, it's all, like... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold on. I'll finish that thought in one second. Okay. When it comes to Lego Harry Potter... There's just not too many sets that interest me for what I want to build. Because a lot of them are just play sets. Now, there's not really that many display pieces that don't cost me an arm and a leg. Because you have the... Is it three or four hundred dollars for the Hogwarts Castle? I think it's four. So you got four hundred dollars for that one. It's yeah. so it's four hundred dollars for that one, and then there's the other Hogwarts Castle set, which is the play set, and that you get everything separate, and it costs a hundred bucks a pop. And then they changed the style twice. Three times. No, they changed it three times. Because there's the original set, the one they've been using for a little bit. And then now the anniversaries ones, which are a nod to the original ones. And it's like... So now you have all these $100 sets, and some of them are a little less for the older ones and the newer ones. But all the ones that were out in between were 100 bucks a pop. And you don't, they don't have a complete experience for it. Like, you can't get a full castle from it, and it's like this right spread out playset. So, in that, I kind of like on the edge, you know? Maybe at some point I'll get the, the Hogwarts castle display, but I don't know, because it's a huge set and takes up a lot of space. It would clearly take up half of one of my shelves right here. Um, so yeah, that had to be planned through. But I don't know. For now, not happening. And I skipped everything I was supposed to do for the other steps. I'll do my best to not mess this up. That looks right, and then put this here. That looks right. Pop it over this way, and if I did everything correctly, yeah. There it is. Now flip that guy around. This is technically supposed to be the other way. Don't know if that'll matter later, but we're getting it all done now, so nobody can complain later. <laughs> it's getting a little big. Let's dial it back. Okay. Two. Two of those and grab the gray plate. And grab four of these. Because you must build your own stairs for this one. Man, we're almost through bag two. 42 minutes in, we're almost done with, I think, the platform. I think you start the train at bag three, right? So we said bag three is the train. Right. So 
we did that. Now we need four of those nonsense brown ones again. And four of the two by ones with these clips at the end. There, okay, um, here, here, and then same thing across. Two of those. And four more. Yeah, and then eight. Eight of these. Oh, no. Okay. These guys, you know what? I don't know why I put them in back. Many figures always go to the right side. It's the easiest way. All right. Then we got there, there, there. And now everybody can be in the show. I think we're making some handrails. World's coolest handrails. Not really. Holy crap, five out of eight. Okay. They got distracted. Always distracted. Got that young ADHD. Pop that down. Now I'm gonna grab this a circle. Right on a clamp. It requires a sticker. Alright. Also I need two of those hands, but we'll do that in a second. So when you do that at home, there is a hole in the middle of that, so you don't feel so silly. And I didn't do the greatest job on that. Kind of hard being a circular piece. Try that again. Maybe without the extraction tool. This time. I should also probably try to make 12 line up to. No, it's just on a rod. I guess it wouldn't matter. That looks pretty even all the way around. There we go. Now, put this rod through. And start snapping on hands here. Because it's a clock. And then, you know, it's about, uh... Four. Forty-five. Go. 445. Forever know what time I made this.
Ah, right? And then... Ah, no! Okay. Try again. Okay, so we've got most of the train station done now. <sighs> now we're going to do um, that with the newspaper. With the exclusive Harry Potter, the boy who lived. And let's get that parts list. Pulled up big. Yep, that's everything you asked for. It's two of those. Two copies of the newspaper. This guy on here. Snap that into the front of here. Then this police gets front bracket and then all right cool 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 snap one on and then you snap the other one in front of it and they're not just laying there that's not that's not a uh, too that's not stupid at all. You throw it back here. There you go. And that my friends That my friends is bag number two. 50 minutes in, we're going to bag three. We got our train wheels there in the bag. Got another little bag. So we're going to get the station out of the way since we're moving on the train for a little bit. For a lot of bit, I should say, because it's a train. Nothing in the bag. Tuck it away. This big ol' grab these big old technic pieces here. Oh, the light tan. Two gray plates to go across the top here. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then come on now.
go. Two of you. One of you. And we got two of those little guys with two of these. I need four more of those. Two. Three, four. Two of those and a gray four by two. I love these little vents. So useful. Then the whole thing attaches to there. Awesome. Except I gotta put it that way. Oh, it's Harry Potter. It's a train. It's the Hogwarts Express. That's right so far. Um, and then I need a 4x1 and a 2x2 two two brick. Meow meow. Two more 4x1 bricks. Two one by two Technic bricks. And two six by ones. All right. No, no yawning. Caffeine. Right? 16. 1. Oh my gosh, they're so red. It's like... It's that real bright red, man. That was me that darker red color, honestly. It's not a big deal, but I just thought it was going to be a darker red. Now, hey, do you remember that if you want to help support the channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash BenderTube. Oh, I could come to... There. There we go. Where I can keep coming to you each and every week, building these sets and hanging out. I think a donate is greatly appreciated, but not required. And then we're going to get these. Wants me to grab all of these sets. Going to assume that it goes this way. And there. 
Okay. And then that little one. Gonna go in the middle. All right, uh, this guy and two of these. Two of these guys, okay. Insert, insert. Pop in here and go to an angle. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome. Train, 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 train. Oh, I just saw a laundry basket. I guess it is laundry time. So, I mean, you couldn't really mess this up if you wanted to. Because it only fits one way. Come on. All right. This one somehow there we go. Get the rod in place. Get the axle in place. All right. They only go in that one. Uh, I did notice something weird today. So, this week is um, Apple's WWDC, which is it's their like developer conference. They start, they tell you, "Hey, here's the uh, s like new software updates we're gonna put out in the fall," and then they spend the week with the developers that were there or invited or whatever to let them know. Um. How do you how to use those features? But anyway, so the first day, which was yesterday, uh, they do the keynote and it shows you all the new stuff. And hey, Tuscan Productions, how you doing, man? It's been a while. How you doing today? Um, so yeah, they show you all the new stuff that's gonna be in like iOS, iPad OS, on your Apple Watch, and oh, what's the other one? Mac OS. There you go. So they did that, and then they, right afterward, they'll release their developer copies of the software so people can start using it and start learning the tools to, you know, improve their apps and make them work with the new, the new updates. Well, I'm on Twitter today, and they put out ads for it. All right. Tuscan says, Ben Good, I binge Lethal Weapon for like four hours on Amazon. Oh man, you know what you gotta do next? You gotta binge you gotta binge uh, Beverly Hills Cop now. It's the only way to follow that up. I gotta tell you about the time that uh Netflix decided that they were gonna do which Amazon does this now. And I don't and I don't like it either. Um, they used to autoplay for a short time the next movie, like that they just decide that they, you want to watch. Well, I don't remember what I was watching, but then it was like up next. 
it was like up next beverly hills cop 2 and i'm like all right cool they got beverly hills cop 2 so i watched it then they played the first one and then the third one and i just didn't care enough so i watched all of them out of order it was pretty stupid seen beverly hills cop it's a good they're good movies uh, so I take it you haven't seen you haven't seen lethal the lethal weapon movies uh before? Or are you watching the series? Alright, I don't know. What the heck this all is here? Ah, uh, there. And there we got four wheels and zoop, zoop, zoop. All right, we got some stickers. All right, two of those and two of these. All right, watching the series now. Okay. I watched that a little bit. I didn't watch too much of it. And then I don't even remember how they got Sean William Scott on the show. Because I remember that was a whole thing. It's like... I think they, they killed off Riggs or something? And then they replaced him with Sean William Scott? Interesting. There's... Yeah, I gotta give that a watch at some point. Alright, so... Put these on. And there, and... They go onto here. Okay. The worst thing in the world. And then this couples into here. Bear with me here, I haven't built a train before. A Lego train before. Alright, the killed off rigs, yeah, his actor was a Muppet uh, abusive on the set and stuff. Yeah, I bet, man. It's just weird. It's just weird that they, like, they killed off a whole character because the actor was a jerk. Thought they would have just, uh... Pull the bewitched or something, you know? But apparently they do that a lot. Because they did that with, uh. Well, they did it with Batwoman, but then they took it back, right? Which was weird. Alright. Like they did with T Dog from The Walking Dead, they killed him off. Oh man, I didn't even know the actor that played T Dog was being abusive, and I, I didn't know that. I he was on there so long, I honestly thought, I thought it was just time for him to die. All right, um, I'm gonna pop that in here. Put this one in front. Cool, 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 cool. 34, two of these big ones, two of these four by twos. Nice little train, nice little train. Definitely space that out the right way. Uh, yeah. Tuscan says, yeah, well, he was uh, late to rehearsals and a jerk, so yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be able to do that. Like, I... I... I'm like, I'm pretty full of myself. 
I don't know if I'd be so full of myself that I'd just be like thinking I'm the most important person and like be a minor character and think I'm the most important person on the show. I don't think I could do that. Oh, there's four of these. There you go. Okay. I don't think I could do that. Just hold everybody up, treat everybody like crap, because I think I'm a big shot. Set that back to the third set of studs there. And then skip that. Put these right here. Uh, I think I just realized I know my movie as well. Until El Clamino came. What? Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just had like the stream like reload on me. That was weird. T Dog was a fan favorite. Oh. And there we go. I mean, yeah, T Dog was a fan favorite, but Norman Reedus' character was like the breakthrough of the whole thing. Which is hilarious because he's not even in the comics. They invented a character. And he's more popular than anybody in the show. go Ooh, bag four has a, pr a printed uh printed piece for the nose that's what said i i forgot they invented their push up yeah that was like a whole they like went through some whole process for that too. Cause they said originally they wrote that he was uh, gay, but then they realized that it was unnecessary and it didn't make a whole sense cause he was Merle's brother. So that wouldn't really, that brotherly dynamically wouldn't work out with how much of a racist and a bigot Merle was. But yeah. I mean, Norman Reedus is pretty much good in everything, though. Like, Boondock Saints needs... We need Boondock Saints 3. Three high. Yeah, I did skip something. Okay, that's fine. Just these anyway. Hey, I didn't tell you can move. All right. Uh, rewatch. Tuscan says that he rewatched The Walking Dead a few months ago. Season three is amazing. I don't know when I stopped watching. I liked it and thought it was great for a long time, but then I just was like, ugh. Um. I mean, I watched through... Like, the first season or two was good with, um... When they brought Negan in. Like, not bad at all. And then, I don't know, I just, like... It just felt like it got worse after that, and I stopped caring that it was on. But anyway. Uh, Tussie Production, are you gonna watch uh, Lego Masters tonight? 
this. I decided to time the stream out so that way if anybody wants to watch it, they're not going to miss it. Uh, so we definitely did... Yeah, I definitely didn't miss anything this time. 43 is done. We're going to 44. And we're going to go 2 by 4 here. Ooh, hey, I forgot. Uh, we do have a new subscriber. Uh, we got one, a new subscriber yesterday. Benjamin uh, Peckin. Peckin, I apologize if I am butchering your name. Leave me, uh, you know, you can hit me up on Twitter, whatever. Twitter, Instagram, in the chat. Tell me how to pronounce it and I will correct it if I'm wrong. <laughs> but uh, anyway, appreciate you uh, subscribing. And I hope you get to hang out with us. I also saw that uh, Benjamin has his own YouTube channel. He had like 134 subscribers. Uh, if you want to check him out, it is Benjamin and then P E K U N. All right, what well, we did 45, around 46 with. Two of those, and I need that modified one by two. There it is, one of them. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Um, what else? So we're at 47 with two of these. Slope ones. And this little mini arch. Uh, I think you think your cousin has this set? Yeah, I, you know, I picked it up a while ago. I just have not gotten to, like, building it yet. So I figured Lego Harry Potter 20th, perfect time. She's little and broke the set ages ago for to fix it many times. Well, there you go. You can get it and uh, rewatch the stream and follow along with me. She has Hedwig too. I like Hedwig. I like the Hedwig set a lot. Um, the only downside to the Hedwig set is that the minifigure display part like comes off super easy, but. It's not a big deal if you're not like messing with it all the time because it's not like really the problem that it's uh that it comes off it's that head the headwig minifigure on the perch just like pops off it does not sit in very easy but anyway like i said i do love that set it looks it looks nice for the size and then now they got the fox the phoenix which is we're gonna do this month too i like that i wish it was a little bit bigger because I'm sure it's I'm sure the phoenix is a little larger than the owl in real life, but it's all good. All right, um, and then this goes like that. Yeah, yeah, that is how it goes. Okay. Um, I just threw. Hey, another printed piece. Look at that Hogwarts castle. Two of those, actually. Yeah, I don't have, uh, like I said, I don't have too many Lego Harry Potter sets. Um, just line them up against each other. Okay. And it goes like this. Okay, take another panel and a four by two. Da, da, da. Yep, 
these double wide cheese plates here. There you go, cheese wedges. Cheese plate is a completely different thing. That's a piece of metal with a bunch of holes in it so you can attach camera equipment. Uh, two of those. And then these little ones with clips on the top. And then the modified one by two. Where are you? Where are you? Back here? Yep. It was back in the corner. All right. Knocking stuff over. Two more of these curved ones. And one of those little arches again. Alright. And. Cheese wedge. Where are my cheese wedges? I'm gonna pull this by me for a sec. There's a cheese wedge. There's a clip. Arches. And then the one by one. There you go. Red and black again. And spin it around and assume it goes the same direction. Okay. Cool. Pretty cool. All right, now I put that. Now I put that cap on. Nice. And then the whole thing goes on. Oh, man. There we go. Now it's starting to look like a train. Two of these wall brackets and two of those. Let's straighten them back. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Some fire, some more fire. Got all this fire. And don't forget that. Little red piece. Okay. And it goes. Like offset. Come on. There we go. Okay. Train, train, train. So yeah, we put that on. Next one, little gray arch over it. Um, and then you got two of the red four by ones. 
I don't even know what these are called. They look like that. You know those, um, like joke seltzer? Oh, what the heck is this? You know those, like, little joke seltzer bottles? They, like, spray you in the face with them? It looks like one of those. That's what it looks like to me. Like, I feel like this just goes on the top of one of those, or like a fire extinguisher or something. Alright, something shiny. Yep. Shiny dark gray piece there. Or No, that's not the right piece. That can't be. Ooh, we have shiny printed dials. Gauges. Okay, and then... Two by one snap brick. There. And this. Alright, then we're gonna put them dials on. Gauges. Tuscan. It's okay. And there. Come on. There we go. Oh, uh, we're uh, hour 16 in. It's not too crazy at all. Uh, two of those and then a... There. There. This goes across the top. Uh, a f two by two. Not bad. Not bad. And then we gotta do some stickers. Nice. On these wall panels. Hey! That's what the kids say. Hey! 5972. center it. There we go. Hey. A lot of printed pieces and a lot of stickers on this one. I like it. It's a decent balance. There we go. Uh, two windows. With window panes, of course. Mm, there's the other window pane. Seven to one with one, two, three, and four. Two of those.
I just still a decent amount to go on this. There's a lot of pieces left in here. Alright. Two of these gold caps. Two of these flat 2x1 plates. Two modified red 2x1 plates. And the two rods here. Okay. Gold pieces go there. All right. Pretty sure we're rocking how we're supposed to go. All right, let's get that parts list. Two of those. Okay, flat tile roughly the same size. Uh, two by one flat. This plate, six by one, two by two, two of those two by ones with a little handle, and then these. So we got those two, that, one flat, arch two. Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Whole lot going on here. And that goes on the back. There we go. I like shove those up in there for extra stability. Nice. Got part of that engine done. And two of these clear caps. Got on the front of the engine here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, stickers. Little stickers. Huh. Alright. Let's try. Do the other one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. That was kind of a waste of a page. <laughs> Really? Okay, whatever. All right, let's look at that parts list. One of those, two of those. A flat version. Two Technic bricks. Two Technic pens. All right.
Technic pins in. Put them box boxes on. And then take the whole thing and attach it to the front. Okay. Oh, and then we need not a dial. Shiny. these all right that's all it's supposed to be a little slippery all right what time is it 5 35. 535, we got about 25 minutes. Um, yeah. See how much we got left on this. And Mike gets a bag five today. Who knows? All right. Don't do anything, just attach. Just attach that bad boy on all the way. Carefully. All right. All right, so yeah, if you have it down, it goes straight. If you have it up like that, you can turn. Okay. I see this, and I like that. It's a nice little feature. And then we got just some little... One of those. One of these. And one of these. Okay, and we're spinning this guy around too, by the way. So for starters, Hogwarts Castle. And then this goes just on the other side to keep the rod going. And this guy goes where? Where does this little guy go? Clips in, it goes down. Okay. Easy. Pretty much same thing, other side. Spin her around. Grab your Hogwarts castle, your whatever, and your whatever. Pop that, that guy down. Hogwarts castle goes on, and then this guy goes in. Keep that pipe going across. Okay. Now for the bells and whistles. Yes, the pun was intended. Because it is the bells and whistles. That's gold gold. I don't know what that is. Um, I can see three studs. So there. There's more. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
All right, this goes right here. All right, I think we we are done with the engine. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do. Oh my gosh, look at bag five. Okay, yeah, we're doing bag five for sure. For sure, for sure. What is in here? Something, something in there. Bag five is being done, which is cool. Good for me. All right, Hermione. There's her torso. Her little stub legs are right there. Her wand is right there. And I want to know what's in this box, man. I want to know now. I don't want to wait. Metal rods? Okay. Alright, well, let's put together Hermione. When I used to... Before the movies came out, when I read the books, I thought her name was... Um, Hermione. Because, I mean, it's not like it's a common name. I've never heard Hermione before that. So I, was like, I thought it was Hermione for, I don't know how many years, until, like, the first movie came out. And I was like, oh, that's how you say it? Whoops. Um, and then two of those wall panels. Two of the little black wall panels. This is a cool piece. That's a cool piece. And we're going this way. This one's the one that holds all your coal, right? For a steam engine, pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like the one that holds all the coal for the steam engine. 85 gets that, two of these, and two, such a small bag. Small bag, big pieces. Hopefully that makes it Good bag to do. All right, and then we're grabbing these and doing some stickers. Flying through these stickers, man. There's still two whole bags left after this. Hogwarts Railways. Railways? That implies that there's more than one and more than one stop. Right? Like, I'm not an idiot, right? That implies that there's more than one, right? Railways. That means... There's more than one railroad that leads to Hogwarts. This guy, right on top. Lock everything in. Look at that. 
Okay, uh, this piece and this like little trapdoor piece. Didn't realize that had a shoot. I gotta pry that up. Didn't realize that had a hinge on it. Thought it was just a rectangular brace. Okay. There we go. Oh, you could totally hide like a body in there. Dead body. Great. Uh, two of those and four of these one by. Two of these archways, so we go to the front. Uh huh. Uh huh. It is 45. Okay. Good still. Step 92. Well, it needs this. Both of these. All right, two of the black vents, two of these, a those, and there. Okay. And you attach. These at the front and the back. So you can couple them to other train cars. And then... A lot of brick. Okay. And then flip this guy over and put it on. There we go. Oh, those are actual axles. Okay. I feel like that's cheating, Lego group. Cheating. All right, flip it over. And then I need four of these plunger handles that are way too long. That's what I'm calling them. There we go. And we're going to grab two of these and four of these. And they go onto here and onto here. Next step, of course, is to attach it to the engine, which is there. Done.
And uh, that brings us to bag six, which we're not going to get into today. All right. So, like I said uh, earlier, in case you missed it, uh, th at this time, there will not be a stream this Sunday. Um, got a family event. Not sure what's going to be done. If it's done early enough and I feel up to it afterward, maybe. But you for sure got your stream for the week today. Uh, we got through the first five bags of this. So it looks like next time, unless those last two bags are significantly more complicated, we are going to... Oh, there we go. We are going to be finishing that and doing the Monster Book of Monsters afterward. And it should be fun. Uh, just to recap there, we got the platform nine and three quarters station done. And I'm pretty sure the train comes in like this. So we got the engine done, which I feel like needs more work, but I, I think that's all there is. Um, so we got the engine, the whole train I guess and then several of the main figures we got the the main group all we got left is that uh Dementor and the trolley witch that just seems derogatory like she doesn't have a name she's the trolley witch I, mean, I guess it's Harry Potter so witch isn't a derogatory term but it just sounds mean Anyway, uh, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you guys have a good week. Stay safe, stay cool out there. And I will see you next time.